Hello, in, in this video I'm going to show you how to put images into your website. So, this is what it will look like. I'll show you how to change the size of it. But, let's get started. So, once you have your HTML document opened up, you're going to find an image and save it. One thing that's very important, you have to save it where your website is located. So. I have my website right here and then you have to save it in the same folder or the same library when, if it's not in a folder to if you don't do that it will not work so once you have the picture saved with the website you're going to go to your website actually no you're going to f look at the picture look at its name and what type of image it is is it a JPEG, a PNG? This one's a JPEG. So, once you go to your website, you're going to go image, source, src, img space src equals, you're going to have to put a quotation, then whatever it was named, dot JPEG is JPG, PNG, PNG, in GIF, GIF, and so on and then if you have image source equals koala dot jpeg go to the website and yeah I think yep it worked so to change the size of it you're right after the quotation you're going to go width equals then put a number like uh, let's say a thousand pixels and with quotations around it and then height equals um, 550 pixels and then you're going to save it and it should resize it for you yep you can mess around with that I've also learn you can do percentage so whatever percentage of the screen let's try width is going to be 70 percent and the height is going to be 40 or let's make it 60 percent save it go to this and yeah it showed it changed a little bit it's at 70 and then 60 let's watch let's see what happens if I do 180 yes it launched it a lot and it just makes a scroller at the bottom it makes it very enlarged but I'm just gonna keep it at 70 so I hope you like this video on putting images into a website and you might want to check out some of my other videos I'll put some annotations here or click the, these annotations and if you have any recommendations for videos, something that you want to learn how to do, please comment below. And thanks for watching.